Nia Shamir has a cutscene coming up. Uh, alright. Any items over here? Nope. Alright, let's go do the cutscene. Why not? I'm pretty sure I already went here yesterday. I already been here yesterday. Alright, where is it? This way. Well, you sure. I thought it was Shamir. Uh, nothing comes to mind. We're fine. Oh, surely there must be something. Don't be shy about asking for help. We're practically siblings, after all. Cut from the same cloth. What? I was raised by Gerald, just as you were. So we should have no trouble getting along. You're about the same age as Gerald. What are you talking about? Sounds like Gerald. No kidding. I don't think I'll ever fully understand his logic. Later, I heard that the squire preceding me had died of a terrible plague. I looked a bit like him and was about the same age, so Gerald thought me a suitable replacement. A little nutty old Gerald, there's no doubt about that. Quite a character. All that was more than 30 years ago. How time flies. Do you, 30 years? That's right. I wasn't even 15 years old. Well, Gerald hardly seems to have aged since then. In fact, over drinks he once told me a... <laughs> Perhaps that's a story for another day. At any rate, that's Gerald for you. One of a kind. I don't think there's anyone else quite like her. Oh yeah, they mentioned Gerald has not aged since he left. Uh, yeah, probably not. Right. Well, now you've heard my whole story. I hope that you understand now why I feel such a strong sense of attachment to you. If you're ever in a bind, just give me a holler. I'll help however I can. Thanks for the offer. I think I handle myself. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> well, I'll uh, let you get back to it. But true, if I can take anything off your plate, don't hesitate to let me know. Alright, so I guess that cutscene was which uh Alos, so not not which uh Shamir. Alright, let's go. Nope, not this way. Alright, so that one's blocked off. Cool. Hello. Okay. Let's see. Uh, yeah, go this way. Hey, Ash. What's up? This one will be more cheerful. This ball, though, I don't know. It, 
It's all new to me. Hmm. Who likes ghost stories? Okay, so like, so I have one that doesn't like ghost stories and the one who does. Cool. Maybe this one belongs to Annette, right? I don't know. Like, Annette either likes or does not like ghost stories. I know it's uh, one of those. Oh no, what happened in Ramire was indescribable. The whole village burned to the ground. So many were left without even a home to return to. Thankfully, Her Grace the Archbishop has invited those who lost everything to stay at Garrick Mock. I pray that they will be able to return to their once peaceful lives as soon as possible. Until that day, we of the Church must join together and do all that we can to help them rebuild. Three notes. Sure. They are men citizens of Empire who's currently in despair. I think it's time to change the leadership. Perhaps someone new should accept the throne. Edelgard's the obvious choice. Perhaps it's time the Empire fell. You could do well as a ruler. Edelgard? Sure. Oh, you want to be the ruler, don't you? Sure. Uh, being a bit older than everyone else, all the others around me as the older sister. Is there anything I can do to make myself more approachable? Don't worry, you already are. You should be more careful with your word. The harder to connect with you like older sister would. Don't worry, you already are. Cool. There's someone I just can't seem to be. There's a... That's a quick and easy way to make them give up uh, and say Anko. Have you considered poison? You could just ask them to say it. Quick and easy never works. Quick and easy never works. Alright, cool. Two out of three seem bad. Any lost items over here? Nope. Alright. Okay. Recruiting you. Oh, professor. Writing and magic. Alright. What? Let's see. Uh, face plus two. Sure, why not? Alright, we got a gold statue now. Alright, what's this? Fisher doesn't care about much about what they catch. Huh. I do not know who that belongs to. So, we did the uh, dormitory already. So, I guess all we have to do is uh, accept this quest. Talk to everybody here. Uh, get the loss and fun done. Give gifts to give everybody's motivation up. Catch fish. And uh, then we are done. Then I need to learn, do the... I need to try and learn stuff from the um, uh, faculties. Then, uh, then I'm done. All right, what's this? Loves fishing. Experienced magic user who loves fishing. Okay, I don't. I don't know who that might be. Church knows a lot about stars. Okay.
Hamas wouldn't betray the church. I don't believe it. I won't believe it. There's some people in the church who hate people like me who are from Elmira, but Tomas was always real kind. But if he really was Lady Rhea's enemy, well, I'd defend her against anybody, no matter how kind they'd been in the past. is said to have been completed during the ethereal moon. Why, 995 years ago, as a matter of fact. That's rather a long time ago, don't you think? Every year, a ball is held to celebrate the family, and every 100 years, a very special celebration takes place. It's a grand festival involving all of Garrett Mark. It is thrilling to read of past festivals, and I'm rather excited to experience one for myself. Once in a lifetime, eh? The next one in five years will mark a millennium. Should be quite an event. Do you imagine you'll still be here teaching them? Five years, huh? Who knows? Uh, glasses? There we go. I left this behind. Well, thank you so much for retrieving me. Alright. Perfect. What's this? Worked for Noble Halls. Probably belongs to uh Who worked for Noble House? I don't remember. Nice. Oh, feather. Cool. I still can't get to the third floor for some reason. Yeah, it's, the game won't let me. Hey, Ria, I'll come to talk to you later. Until now, I never would have suspected that a man like him could turn on us. I have also discovered that his appearance has changed. It is almost as if he is not even human. What in the world is going on? Yeah, he, he turned into a testicle with uh, glasses, so. Do, do what else we got? Before the ball, it is customary that we host a competition of dance known as the White Heron Cup. The students are quite fond of this tradition. Each house must select a representative to compete. Their dance shall be judged by its beauty, grace, and technique. The student, who is deemed the winner, will be given the opportunity to train as a dancer, should they so please. It is a very precious thing, the gift of dance. I hope that you and your students will choose to participate. Is that a dancing minigame or something? What? May I ask a favor of you? Whitehorn Cup is kind of skill and grace in dance. Please encourage your house to participate. That said, if you are serious about winning, be sure to choose your uh, representative carefully. Dance contest takes place at the beginning of week three. Select the student to represent your house uh, by end of week two. Your selected student may learn a unique way to inspire their allies in combat. Oh no, that's a, just a new skill. Okay. Okay. Support cutscene. Who? Well, me and you. Your lesson. Cool. Alright. Hold on. Who in my class can dance? I don't know. Sylvain? Like, I don't know who else can dance. Uh, probably not you. Definitely you two? Probably not, right? Like, Flame? You? I don't know. 
Mercedes or Sylvain or Felix? I don't know. Um, I'll figure out later. Really don't know who can who could dance in. Um, all right. Oh yeah, the student in my house wants to talk to me, don't they? Should I choose some wing in the house representative in the white? Um, I don't know who can dance in my class. I, I, I seriously don't know. I get it. No worries, really. I'd rather see a beautiful person dancing instead of some goof like me. Huh. Um. Who should I pick exactly? Mercedes, why not? Yeah, just pick Mercedes. I really don't know who else to pick, but uh, so I'm just gonna pick her. Yeah, sure. Thanks for having faith in me, Professor. Now choosing a representative the White Horn Cup. Speaking to Manuela for more information about the competition. If you speak to your White representative, you can give them a dancing lessons. Do so and their charm will increase. Oh, Professor, do you mind watching my dance routine? I would appreciate your honest opinion. Sure. Okay, so like I can, that doesn't end as long. I have to end it. Sure. Uh, increase by five. Okay, that's a, that seems a lot. Cool, 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 cool. Charm the winning is usually around 13. Uh, what's her charm like? 22! Yeah, we got this. 22, what the heck? Alright. That's it? That's all you have to say? Indeed, 
The further my crest research progresses, the closer you come to learning the truth of your heritage. Is it not so? When I learned you bore the lost crest, the very crest of flames itself, I set about learning everything I could about your past. What was the origin of your bloodline? How have the events of your life been shaped by your lineage? I became somewhat obsessed, I must admit. Uh, you investigate me? Nothing so crass as an investigation. No, I researched. I spoke to mercenaries whom you've worked with in the past to learn about your life before the academy. Of course, I also contacted Gerald and his mercenary friends. Your father does keep rather interesting company. I'm excited to share with you what I learned. I do ask that you correct me if I am mistaken on any account. The story begins with Gerald serving as captain of the Knights of Zeros. There was a woman at the monastery with whom Gerald was quite close. At first, it seemed obvious this mystery woman was your mother. Alas, that cannot be the case. The timing is all wrong. As it was told to me, the woman in question passed away shortly before Gerald left the monastery. Yet your birth occurred some time later, while Gerald was taking work as a mercenary. This, of course, presumes your age is accurately reported. If you were born sooner, well, the story would be quite different, would it not? Uh, my, uh, my father was always one for secrets. mercenaries go. For example, Gerald never once spoke of his time serving as captain of the knights. That's quite a secret to keep for all those years. In the end, your old acquaintances had little definitive to say about either of you. However, they all agreed on one thing. Your father and yourself were a strong pair. Warriors to be respected and feared. You in particular, in fact, many came to know you as the Ashen Demon. They say you would destroy your enemies without a hint of emotion on your face. The mercenaries I spoke to revered you as a living legend of sorts. So, that is what I learned. And, I admit, it is barely more than I knew before. The next step in my research is to ask your blood for answers and hope that it is more forthcoming than your past acquaintances. Yeah. 